Okay, we're at the Patuxent Art League annual Patuxent Art League Open Jury Exhibition, and we're looking at some beautiful artwork today, and we have a piece by Jesse Golfin, and Mr. Golfin is going to give us a little bit about how he came up with his artist name, which is Golfini. So if you can give us a little history on the name itself, we can talk okay, about the piece. the name piece. itself started when uh, I, was, I was actually a published writer, and I was writing subjects of a very spicy nature, and I didn't want my mother to be affected by the name. So hence, I put the eye on my last name, and it became Golfini. Beautiful. Okay, well, with that, Golfini, um, could you give us some idea of the art, the art, the piece itself in terms of the name of the piece? Yes. The piece is called Personals Dash Love. Okay. What it's about is actually the history and the evolution of personals, that, like Match.com and Personal Love Personals. So you have really a couple here. And then with the evolution of it, before we had the computerization of America, we had only communicate by letters, hence the mail. Okay? Then computerization came into it. Now you have the binary notes between the couple, the man and the woman. They're trying to make a love connection. Hence you see actual ads here, personal ads here, cut out of the newspaper. And it's a mixed media dealing with the word, as you can see also, the word love here, L-O-V-E. Exactly. Sometimes they, sometime they make a connection, a love connection. Other times, it falls by the wayside. So hence, it goes into the front. That's how I do it. Now we know that red represents the color of love, universal color. But were well, you trying to achieve anything else by using this color? Well, for an artist, for, for this artist, I'm always seeking to do the perfect red painting. And this hints the color. But in this particular case, you see red represents passion, the couples, as well as romance. Hence, you have the profusion of red. Okay. And the framing is custom as well as you explained. Yes, I also made the frame. Usually in a show like this, they will ask you to do a frame. But in this case, it really didn't, didn't uh, require a frame. But I wanted to do one anyway just in case. And the frame is, is significant with the painting because, as I said, sometimes you make enough a love connection here. And other times, it will fall by the wayside here, and you, as you see the red, and then you go to the next ad and say, okay, let me get the next ad. Maybe that so That's why the frame is involved in the painting. So the frame is broken, meaning a, a love connection wasn't made. Is that what right, it is? Right, exactly. Okay. And it fell into the black hole, if you want, if you okay. want to say. Excellent. And then I noticed that you have a country, is that truly what we see here in terms well, of... Well, uh, I wanted to get a different shape. It's not necessarily a country, uh -huh. but I ended up coming up with, with Africa for some reason. Uh -huh. Okay. And then you have the words, actual words. Yes. In the now, country. this is a play on the word love, the letters here. The letters actually I did the letters after I did the painting because I wanted to sculpture the letters into the painting. So as you see the inside of L, for instance, this is just part of the painting. Mm -hmm. And just put some lines into it to make it part. So, so, okay. And the inspiration behind this piece? Personal. Um, I've ventured into it. Most people have, most single people have. Well, divorced people have ventured into the era of love personals, either on Match.com or Washingtonian newspapers or however. So it's, that's how it came about. Okay. Anything else you care to share with us on this? No, I, I appreciate you, uh, you taking the time out to come and see it, and hopefully it conveys what I was willing to do here and I was aiming to do this. Uh, 
love. It's a piece that is thought provoking here because you really have to gauge into it and see what did the artists have in mind here. And hence, that's what to me is what painting is should do. Artwork should do. It should, it should provoke and stimulate the mind and the heart. It's in the mind's eye of the art. Mr. Golfini, thank you very much for your sharing and your beautiful creative work. We look forward to seeing much more of you in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much.